been really great. Um, lots of learning opportunities and growth, uh, and especially we've got a lot of young ones in the group coming through. And I think you know, for them to be able to play, you know, uh, international opals um, that are on the world stage is just the best learning experience that they can have. Yeah, I think um, you know that happens naturally for me. I don't like forcing um, you know the leadership on them, but um, I think you know the type of player I am and my work ethic uh, that comes through, and uh, and just obviously my experience and, and knowing how to be professional is a good example for the young ones. Yeah, well, a, a lot of the guards um, I've played with before, but um, for the posts coming through, who are probably the younger ones, um, just, you know, they've got really athletic, strong, um, international type bodies. And then on top of that, they're really willing to um, learn. They've got good touch and nice shots. So that's, um, you know, they've really got, you know, the potential to be great international basketball players. Yeah, um, you know, it's, ne it's never easy having two practices and then playing like a Southside Flyers who are full of opals. But um, what was really good is that, you know, we didn't have a good first half. Uh, we struggled, uh, but we were able to make adjustments and um, it wasn't so much about the scoreboard, but practicing what we, um, you know, Guy had put in place and improving on those things. And I think um, we really did that in that first game. Uh, the second game was uh, against Bendigo. Uh, they're a very tough team, not as, maybe not as talented on paper, but uh, played probably really hard and had you know, good defensive rules. So us uh, you know, making sure that we executed offensively, we did that very patchy throughout the game. But um, again, we, you know, a loss was, is an opportunity for us to grow and learn, and I think we can take a lot of things out of those games. Yeah, so um, like looking back into past tours, you know, I've had um, role models like Natalie uh, Taylor who's brought her children on tour and it's now um, my turn to do that and um, it's, it's really nice, you know, it gives a, a good vibe throughout the group uh, and, you know, you might be having a bad day but you can turn around and look at Hazel and she makes you feel a bit happier and, um, yeah, it's just a, it's the tour fern's way and uh, we, you know, always include family. Oh, yeah, you want to sit up here and can you say hi? While you're eating, oh, you're chewing. Can you wave to the camera? Yeah, um, it's very important. We, you know, it's been a tough few years for everyone in international basketball with COVID and not being able to come together. So um, for us uh, in New Zealand, you know, we just had a really good uh, New Zealand league. And so for us to then have a Tall Ferns camp um, is, you know, ideal and what we need to go into 2023 um, to get to the, you know, qualifications so we can make the Olympics. Uh, yeah, I, um, yeah, ideally we had the Tall Ferns camp right after it and I think that would have been, you know, like ideal, perfect world, but it didn't fall into place. Um, but the, the league has been, you know, just sensational. I loved playing in it. Uh, I thought the, the games... <laughs> I thought the games were, you know, really high level. We had really good imports and, the, you know, if that can continue to build, I think that's going to also help our international basketball because now the young ones um, have a pathway. And also if they don't want to go pursue, you know, college in America, they can stay in New Zealand and play, you know, competitive basketball.